On this special edition of the We are negative influences on you today, but we are positive influences on you on our normal show in our regular time slot, which you can catch Thursday nights at 10.30 p.m. right here on Current TV. And now... <laughs> Is that some kind of joke? Is this 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 some kind of joke? This is some kind of joke. Some kind of joke. Is this some kind of joke? Is this some kind of joke? You think this is some kind of joke? What is this some kind of joke? It's 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. And with those words, they started a chase that not even Princess Leia with a rifle could stop. Gotta give them props for being a musical comedy with two huge police car pileups. Boy, you take out those blues horns and that's just a really depressing scene. Did the Crusades teach us nothing? Holy object kung fu. <laughs> Arnold's in his prime here as a Soviet killing machine on loan to the Chicago PD. I'm not shooting on you. Belushi gets to stand next to him during the bus chase, lay down next to him during the shootout, and in the climax, Did you get him? Yes, you are a big help. That is the sarcasm because I'm also having to be the funny one. Tankers will definitely navigate city streets. Lasers will vaporize people, but not their pants. And dogs will outrun explosions. And the eye of the storm shall focus only on major historical landmarks. The Colosseum will spontaneously combust, Golden Gate shall be burned by God's magnifying glass, and New York shall be torn asunder again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And the fires of hell shall come either tediously slow or nonsensically fast. Then aliens shall attack, but fear not. Aliens are stupid. They'll travel to a planet filled with water when they are allergic to water and have computer software with more security holes than Windows Vista. And now, Movie Theology with Father Brett. The Bible, the Torah, the Quran, the Bhagavad Gita. Useless. Movies are where you find true religious knowledge. Who is God? Easy. God is Morgan Freeman. And this guy, and God is Alanis Morissette which finally explains why that album was so popular. But lo, there are many forms of the devil. Harvey Keitel, Al Pacino at roughly 30% of max acting power. And worst of all, the devil is Elizabeth Hurley looking crazy hot, and then... See you in hell! Which is why I call the devil the great boner confuser. Let's talk afterlife. Hell's always the same. Fire and devils and horribly dated CGI. But heaven has many shapes, and they're all boring shapes. Play charades with the hairy twins. Hang out in the clouds with like a really disturbingly sexy dog. The only heaven that isn't boring is robot heaven from Transformers 2, where you die, and then you get to go talk to robots. Return now to Optimus. And then you get brought back to life, just as was foretold in the Transformer Bible, which also turns into Robo-Pope. It's the best Bible. But to get to the afterlife, you can't leave anything unfinished or else you'll have to stay here on Earth. As we learned from St. Bill of Cosby, who once famously said, Oh, I'm a ghost and a dad, and where are my pants, Rudy? On the bus. Amen. Movie Theology with Father Brett. What's going on here? Which one's your wife? Hey, it's not what it looks like. This is not what it looks like. Uh, Dan, this isn't what it looks like. No, it, it, it's not what it looks like. This isn't what it looks like. This isn't what it looks like. It's not what it looks like, okay? It's not what it looks like, okay? This isn't what it looks like, okay? What does this look like? A vagina. Can you count to four? Good, because there's only four things you need to know if you want to be a dancer. First move, thrust it! It works whether you're a nerd or a greaser. Next, do it in pairs. You can turn any activity into a dance if you do it with a partner. They're not running together, they're dancing. They're not crawling on the floor, they're dirty dancing. 
Even living a life of abject poverty can be dancing if you have a partner. Number three, got two left feet? You don't even need feet. Just flail your arms around. Not just for the young and flexible. Even an old fat Jewish milkman can do it. <laughs> Okay, now that you're all warmed up, it's time for the big number. Four, have a stylized emotional outburst. Get angry. Angrier. Angrier. Even angrier. Okay, a little too angry. You're gonna have to pay for that. And now, Rotten Tomatoes presents Hard alcohol ain't easy. The complete Iron Man in three minutes or less. Iron Man makes his first comic book appearance in 1963. The film updates the origin setting to Afghanistan and check out that first suit, straight off the original cover. The film has everything you want in a summer blockbuster. A little humor. And three, two, one. Awesome special effects, both practical and CGI. And a lot of things that go boom. But all that's irrelevant when compared to this mother briefcase suit. That's an awesome suitcase suit. Really? I think spine needles require a bit more than a collective gasp. What the f is the matter with you people? That's disgusting! Just when you think you're used to Tarantino zigging, he explosively zags all over your face. Do you think that God came down from heaven and stopped it? You can follow us on Twitter, download us on iTunes, stream us on Hulu, or just watch us on TV, because what else are you gonna do when you eat? <laughs>